Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle arithmetic sequences, series, and means. Alright, so let's start. So, ang sequence I called arithmetic. Kung ang difference nila ng consecutive terms ay parehas. So, mapapansin mo, ito yung sequence. A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and so on. So, kapag parehas yung difference nila, katulad ng A sub 2 minus A sub 1 ay B, at ang A sub 3 minus A sub 2 ay D rin, and also A sub 4 minus A sub 3 ay also D, which is equal hat ng D na yan, then it's called an arithmetic sequence. So again, the number D is called the common difference of the arithmetic sequence. So mapapansin mo mo we have three arithmetic sequence examples. The first one is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And the second one is 1, 4, 12, 100, 1025, and third one is 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, and 1.25. So let's check kung arithmetic sequence nga sila. First one, yung 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, kunin mo yung pangalawang term, minus mo siya sa first term. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. At yung third term, minus mo sa second term, 5 minus 3, that's 2 also, and 7 minus 5 is 2. So masasabi natin na arithmetic sequence nga to. So, check na yan. Yes. Pangalawa naman, yung 1, 4, 12, 100, and 1,025. So, check natin. 4 minus 1 is 3. 12 minus 4 is 8. So, kahit dito pala, ang alam na natin, hindi sila arithmetic sequence kasi ang difference nila ay iba. So, lastly, check natin yung pangatlo. We have 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, and 1.25. So, let's check. 0.5 minus 0.25 is 0.25 and yung 0.75 minus 0.5 is equal to 0.25. Tapos mo, yung difference natin parehas, we can say that it's an arithmetic sequence example. Let's move on. Let's go to the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So the nth term of the arithmetic sequence has a formula like this. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d or the difference. So D is the common difference. N naman is the number of terms at yung A sub N, yun yung inahanap yung N term. So let's have some example questions. The first one is, find the 20th term of an arithmetic sequence with A sub 1 is equal to 3 and D is equal to 6. Second example will be, find the 17th term of an arithmetic sequence 7, 4, and 1. Now there are four steps in solving this kinds of problem. The first one is find the value of D. Second one is place the formula in given. Third one is substitute. And the fourth one is simplify. So again, let's go to the first problem. Find the 20th term of an arithmetic sequence with A sub 1 is equal to 3 and D is equal to 6. So that meron tayong D or the difference, which is 6. We can go to the next step, which is place the formula in the given. So the formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. So ang a sub 1 mo ay 3 and d is 6. And the number of terms will be 20. Kasi 20th term ang inahanap. Next step is you substitute yung given natin. So that will be a sub 20 is equal to 3 plus the quantity 20 minus 1 times the quantity 6. Simplify natin, that will be 20 minus 1, that's 19, times mo ng 6, that will be 114, plus 3, that is 117. So the 20th term of an arithmetic sequence with a sub 1 is equal to 3, and d is equal to 6, that will be 117. Okay, so let's move to the second example. Find the 17th term of an arithmetic sequence, 7, 4, and 1, and so on. So first step, find the value of d. So, D is equal to 4 minus 7. Second term mo kasi is 4. So, 4 minus 7. And D is equal to negative 3. Second step naman, place the formula in the given. So, we have A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity N minus 1 times D. So substitute natin, that will be A sub 17 is equal to 7 plus the quantity is 17 minus 1 times negative 3. Kasi 17 yung term small, so n is equal to 17. So simplify natin yan. That will be 7 plus the quantity 16 times negative 3. So a sub 17, or the 17th term of an arithmetic sequence 7, 4, 1, and so on, is equal to negative 41. 
Okay, let's move on. So, sometimes may pinapahanap sa atin yung insert arithmetic means between two numbers. So, we have the same formula naman, a sub n is the last term. So let's have some example. Insert for arithmetic means between negative 1 and 14. Now, steps in solving this kind of problem, we have five steps. First one, we have to arrange the terms and the unknowns. Second is place the given and formula. Third one is substitute. Fourth one is find the value of d. And the last one is use d to solve for the unknowns. So first step muna tayo, arrange the terms and the unknown. Ligiging negative 1, tapos yung apat na blanco kasi 4 arithmetic means daw yung pinapa-insert natin. At lastly yung 14. So place the given n formula. So we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. And a sub 1 natin is negative 1, a sub n is equal to 14, at n natin i 6. Next naman is a substitute na natin. So a sub n is 14, diba? So that will be 14 is equal to negative 1 plus the quantity 6 minus 1 times d. So simplify natin yan para makuha natin yung d kasi find the value of d na tayo. So that will be 14 is equal to negative 1 plus 5d. So 15 is equal to 5d and d is equal to 3. So algebra lang yan. Next as we use d to solve for the unknowns. So dahil d natin ay 3, magkatagtag tayo ng 3 sa negative 1. So that will be 2. So same din ang gagawin natin sa susunod. So 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 plus 3 is 8, and 8 plus 3 is 11. So ang arithmetic means na apat na yun, na in-insert dapat, so sa negative 1 and 14, that will be 2, 5, 8, and 11. So yun yung final answer nyo. Alright, so let's move on. Let's go to the n partial sum of an arithmetic sequence. So may dalawa tayong formula. The first one is sum is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Pangalawang formula is sum is equal to n sub n over 2 times the quantity 2a1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Gagamitin natin yung first formula pag ang a sub n or n term ay given. For example, we have this kind of question. Find the sum of 5 plus 13 plus 21 plus 29 plus 37 hanggang 85. Okay? Nasa image naman siya. So steps in solving this kind of problem. We have four steps. So the first one is count the number of terms for n. Second one is place the formula and given. Third one is substitute. And lastly, you have to simplify. So first step muna tayo, count the number of terms for n. So we have 11 terms. Yung bilangin mo yung terms na yan, yung 5, 13, 21, hanggang 85. So that will be 11 terms. So yun yung n. Second one. Place the formula in given. Ang given mo is n is equal to 11, a sub 1 is 5, and a sub n is 85. a sub n kasi ito yung nadulong term mo. Okay? a sub 1 naman kasi 5 kasi ito yung unang term. So ang formula na gagamitin mo ay sum is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Substitute natin. That will be sum is equal to 11 over 2 times the quantity 5 plus 85. And lastly, simplify mo siya. So that will be 5 plus 85 is 90. Times mo 5.5. That will be 495. Alright, so para sa naman tong isang formula na to. Again, if a sub n or n term is given, pwede mo rin siyang gamitin. And also, kung hindi siya given, kung nawawala ang a sub n or yung n term, pwede mo tong gamitin. So we have a question like this. Find the sum of the first 82 terms of an arithmetic sequence with a sub 1 is equal to 103 and b is equal to negative 6. So how to solve this kind of problem? You have three steps lang. Place the formula in given, substitute mo, and simplify. Let's do the first step. Place the formula in given. So nalagay ka yung formula at ang given mo, ang n mo ay 82 terms. Okay? Yung number of terms mo ay 82 eh. A sub 1 is 103, yun yung unang term, and B is equal to negative 6. And substitute natin siya, that will be sum is equal to 82 over 2 times the quantity 2 times 103 plus the quantity 82 minus 1 times the quantity negative 6. So let's simplify it algebraically. So that will be sum is equal to 41 times the quantity 206 plus 81 times negative 6. So the sum will be negative 11,480. 
So yung sa tanong ng find the sum of the first 82 terms of an arithmetic sequence with a sub 1 is equal to 103 and b is equal to negative 6, the answer will be negative 11,480. Alright, so let's move on. Let's go to the finding the n term. So we have the formula dn plus the quantity a sub 1 minus d. Again, d is the difference. Yung a sub 1 naman in yung first term. At yung n, wag nyo papaka naman yung n. So final answer as is lang siya. Okay, the reason bakit stay put lang yung n so final answer kasi indefinite yung number of terms mo eh. May dot dot dot. May encounter nyo din kasi itong mga gantong tanong. Find the n term of the sequence 1, 7, 13, 19 or yung 12, 10, 8, and 6. Now, how to solve this kind of problem? First one, find the value of d. Second one, place the formula in given. Third one, is substitute mo. And lastly, simplify. So again, let's go to the first question. Find the n term of the sequence 1, 7, 13, and 19. So first step, find the value of d. d is equal to 7 minus 1 or 6. Kasi diba, second term mo 7, first term mo 1. So 7 minus 1 is 6. Second step, place the formula in given. So yung formula mo is dn plus the quantity a sub 1 minus d. d is equal to 6 and a sub 1 is equal to 1. And n is n lang. Next step, we have to substitute. So that will be... 6n plus the quantity 1 minus 6. Iwan mo lang yung n ulit. And pag sinimplify mo siya, that will be 6n minus 5. Kasi 6n plus negative 5, that will be 6n minus 5. Yun yun. Iwan mo lang yung n. Okay, next question. Find the n term of the sequence 12, 10, 8, and 6. So, first step, find the value of d. d is equal to 10 minus 12, and d is equal to negative 2. Second step is place the formula in given. So, same formula yung gagamitin natin. That will be dn plus the quantity a1 minus d. At ang d natin ay negative 2 and a sub 1 is 12. Kasi 12 ang nasa unang term. So, you have to substitute the given. So, that will be negative 2n plus the quantity 12 minus negative 2. Alright, next one, you have to simplify it. So, that will be negative 2n plus 12 plus 2. So, Simplify mo pa siya, that will be negative 2n plus 14. Alright, so that's the end of the video of arithmetic sequence, series, and means. Next video naman will be about geometric sequence and series. So when you kita nyo sa screen nyo, ito yung a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r to the n minus 1. At malalaman yung pinikaiba ng geometric sequence at arithmetic sequence. Again, kung may comment kayo or suggestion, please Comment down below. Sama nyo na yung assignment nyo. Again, this is James, your Metal Language Instructor. Please like and subscribe so I could keep you educated and inspired. Thank you. Bye-bye.